I started singing again, you know, like uh, coming out of that that jazz hole. You know, I played played uh, straight ahead instrumental jazz for a long time, and uh, and like I said, more recently, I'm I'm going back to those early uh, records that inspired me, like the Chicago blues thing, and you know, it was. It was really just kind of being on the bandstand, playing in groups where, where I'm playing with a drummer and a bass player, and I'm playing guitar, and so I'm sitting in the rhythm chair, and I would hire a horn player to come and play the melody, and and uh, you know, I wasn't I was uncomfortable having somebody else up there uh, in the lead position because they weren't reading my mind, they you know they weren't playing it the way I wanted to. To play it and so uh, there was just this point where I decided okay well I need to play chords so I can play rhythm on the guitar but instead of having a trumpet or a saxophone be the lead voice I'll sing and that'll be the way that I can control the intro and the outro of each song and in the middle when we have the improvisational part or we're, we're soloing and whatnot it, it's a collective thing but I feel more comfortable at the mic singing so that I can control those beginnings and endings and, and, and you know, hopefully we, we sound a little bit more like a band, you know. <laughs> right now I've been using my good buddy Ponder East on the tenor saxophone, great tenor sax player here in town, and uh, Aaron Lack, excellent drummer and a percussionist, he's also, also a great uh, jazz vibraphonist, um, and you know it'd be great to have him play the vibraphone in the group, but he's just such a good drummer, he's, uh, <laughs> I can't find another drummer that actually plays it the way I want to hear it, the way Aaron does, so, so uh, fortunately or unfortunately for him, he's got to be my drummer. And, uh, and then the, the, the keys chair uh, is sometimes split. We use Nick Litursky, he's a great player in town, um, plays with a bunch of uh, great musicians. And then I'm also using uh, Terry Bonus, who's another great player, and they play uh, in a B3 where they're playing bass with a left hand and you're playing melody and chords with the right hand and that's real reminiscent of that that 60s uh, blue note jazz it was kind of funky and earthy and yet they didn't shortchange you uh, in terms of the musical content and that's really what we're we're trying to do is interject that earthy bluesy thing into our into our jazz format so that organ really lends itself to that Thank you. 